colleagues, Bolaji Yusuf Ainla, present motion constituency two in Lagos State. Mr. Speaker, the need for gradual and consistent rehabilitation of Nigerian roads. The House note that many federal roads in different parts of the country are dilapidated. This has affected the free movement of people and goods across the country, as a lot of delay and accidents occurring on the roads, as a attributed to the bad state of the road. Further note that all the bad federal roads in Nigeria need immediate attention of the federal government. The limited resources within the government does not allow them to fulfill all the necessary roads. Immediate attention of the federal government, the limited resources at the disposal of the federal government has made it impossible for all the roads to be rehabilitated at the same time. Also note that in the past successive administration and always awarded contracts for the rehabilitation or reconstruction of long stretch of the federal road proposed in annual budget in annual budget but many of such contracts were not executed due to the inability of those government to release funds on time for the contractor to pursue the project. Convincing that if the contract the, cont the contract are awarded yearly for rehabilitation of the specified specified stretch of selected federal road, it would be easier for the federal government to release funds to execute them and ensure that more roads are rehabilitated within the four years tenure of a particular administration. Resolved to urge the federal government to adopt a system of gradual and consistent rehabilitation of Nigerian roads by awarding only contracts it has resources to execute within a financial year. I so move. Right, Honorable Speaker, Honorable colleagues, I want you to listen attentively to see that this issue I'm talking about is something that affected almost 360 honorable member because it's something to do with the various road that has been done. Over the years, successive government have always made effort to repair our road, and they do this by awarding contracts for the rehabilitation of long stretch of road at the same time. Honorable Speaker, honorable colleagues, sometimes they will even announce the road they intended to rehabilitate their, di their distance and the cost. However, experience over the years has shown that the federal government was not always in position to execute all the contracts according to their plan. Sometimes they, they, they will rehabilitate a little stretch of the road and abandon the remaining. Sometimes they will abandon it due to the lack of funds. Contractor has been awarded contracts. And a situation whereby a lot of problems arises, they will tell you that the government has not paid them. I believe the government should pay to whatever they are capable of doing, rather than doing what they are not. In view of this, the federal government should adopt a system of gradual and consistent rehabilitation of this road. For instance, a 200 kilometer road can be rehabilitated by awarding a yearly contract for the repair of 50 kilometers of the road at a at time. This will make it easier for the government to pay. Such contract can be awarded to repair many roads in different parts of the country. Right, Honorable Speaker, my colleagues, if this system adopted and they do it consistently, many roads will be rehabilitated over a given period of time. 
a particular administration will also know how much it has achieved in road rehabilitation. I urge the honorable colleagues, my fellow honorable member, to support this motion as it is affect every one of us. Thank you very much. Those against it say nay. I serve it.